Hey everybody, I have been trying to reorganize the shop a little bit and make things function a little bit better. Um, one of the things that's been frustrating is, um, like many shops, is uh, clamps and where to put them and never having enough clamps and so on. Um, now, I've got a 20 by 28 shop. I've got, you know, a 16 foot garage door on one end, uh, which is down there. Um, I've got 24 foot of shelving across this wall with a dust collection in the back. And then I've got another um, 12 foot of shelving here. And then I've got back in the corner that you can't see, I've got some uh, sheet goods and then the, the bandsaw and the uh, 15 inch uh, planer sits back in there. So I don't have any real places, and then the, the, the wall along on here that you don't see has got the toolbox, the workbench, um, the jointer. Um, so I've pretty much used up every piece of outside wall, um, and so it doesn't leave a good wall to put a clamp. So one of the things I was trying to come up with is where can I put these, where can I make them work? Um, so here's the solution I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do and see if this is going to work. Um, I picked up a uh, pull barn style door slide. So heavy duty door, door slide, uh, they're about four, they'll hold about 400 pounds. Um, and picked up the uh, rollers and the track for that. So what I did, and, it, and you may be able to see it, is up in here I've got a track. I've got an eight foot track that I actually attached right to the metal shelving here. Um, and then I picked up a couple of the, the rollers. So what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to get some, I got some half inch Baltic birch plywood. Um, I'm going to hang a 28 inch wide, which will get me to this bank of shelving. And then I think I'm going to actually do some 16 inch wide, which go in between these. So basically this will be a sliding wall. Um, that I can attach stuff. I can still get all to my sustainers in here that I need to. Um, that'll take this bag of clamps and put on there. And then on the other side over here, I've got all those clamps on the shelving, but I can't get access. It's like everything's behind it is just un... I can't get to it. So um, we're going to try that. So I think to begin with, we're going to start cutting up some cheap goods and do some layout and see the best way to lay out and see if I can make it work. So. When I decided to lay out the clamps, I ended up deciding just to do singularly um, instead of trying to do stacked and there's a couple of different ways you can stack them to try to utilize less space, but uh, I ended up just doing them individually and it laid out and I got the camp clamps I needed. One of the things I did do uh, or didn't do was I should have the at least the top portion of each one is put a slight bevel uh, back on these so the camp clamps will stand there. It hasn't been really an issue but periodically the clamps will try to move themselves out but other than that um, that was about the only thing uh, and if I don't like this, you know what, I can tear it apart and redo it and, and change it up. Um, it's pretty easy to do. So I think I'll do a wrap up here. Um, I built three of these off the, draw, the pull bar and hanger track. Um, one I built out a set of racks just to stack out of wood um, and then hung this on this wider board because of the way this thing, these shelves lay out, there's a bigger gap back in here. Um, and then I just took, I had some of these metal ones that I'd bought before, uh, clamp racks, and I just cut it down to fit this. Um, these are set up for a little bit, you know, a couple inches narrower in each one of these bays uh, for my sustainers. Um, so I've got these two with clamp racks. I've got another one here that um, I'm going to put some French cleats on there and do some tool hanging since this is my uh, 
workstation here. It's also the, where my uh, table saw out feeds into. Um, but I think I'm gonna, for now, I'm just going to leave it like this, leave it blank, until I actually decide what tools I actually want to uh, hang there. I've got a couple of drawers here, so I've got you know a couple of odds and ends that I can, you know when I'm working at the, the table here. Um, they're right there. Clamps are right here. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. I wasn't sure how it was going to work. Um, this hardware, I think it's rated for 400 pound doors, which obviously this isn't going to be nearly that. So the, the track isn't that expensive. The hanging hardware is a little bit more expensive um, than I'd like to spend. Um, but it's, so it's a little overkill. But part of what I want to do is I want to be able to um, hang off of it. With, I've got three bolts on each side here in the side of a panel. Most of the track hardware that I can find out there actually is door hardware and it actually screws in the top. So that's partially why I went with this between the capacity and the mounting. Um, the, for this scenario it'll work, I think for me, um, best for that. So um, hope you found this useful. Um, I'm in the middle of trying to reorganize the shop. I've been moving pretty much everything on every shelves. So I've got a whole pickup load of stuff I've already hauled out of here, trying to make things more efficient, less clutter, um, more accessible. So this was one of the things to do that. Um, and it just feels a whole lot better once you get in, uh, get the shop reorganized and get it to where it's going to function better. So hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. Thanks.